Guys, I am here in Buckhead with this beautiful motorcycle and the only thing I have to do is get home tonight to do Moto Mumble. First good day since I got back from Texas and this is what we're looking at. With the beautiful Holly, of course. I have been all over Holly since she got back. I mean that in every sexual way possible. Let us ride. Oh my God, stop the video. Stop the video. I know you guys are gonna ask questions. I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions right now. Yes, these are Chase on Two Wheels key tags. We have a white one, we have a red one, and we have a twist in case of emergency one. You guys can grab any of these and as many of them as you want at Moto Key Tags, something, 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 insert URL here that I don't know. There will be a link, top link in the description. My favorite one is personally this white one because it has a red helmet and has black text and it's white and it's awesome. It'll probably get dirty, but hey, they're cheap and you can buy another one. Just saying. Okay, now, I wanted to let you guys know that. Link in the description. Go grab them because you're awesome and they're awesome. And uh, yeah, that now you can, you can start the video now. Sorry about that. Sorry about the interruption. I'm going to go take pretty pictures. <gasps> chopper! Get to the chopper! Oh, by the way, spoiler alert, this is where I end the video. So go watch the video and watch till I get to here. If you guys don't know what Moto Mumble is, it's basically a live stream that Walterific, Motonocity, and myself put on once a week. Uh, and it's basically just a big old Q&A thing with us three, and we sit there and talk about topics uh, that you guys want to know about. All right, so I legit have no clue how to get out of this parking area. Um, do not enter, got it. Okay, so I'm not gonna enter there. Well, this vlog might be just me driving around a parking area. I see how to get out now, perfect, perfect, perfect. All righty, now that I've found my way to freedom, holy crap, this parking deck is so damn hard to get out of. Why do they make it so damn complicated? I literally have nothing to do today but go vlog and then make it home before Moto Mumble starts which is like nine. So I need to be home at like by 8.30. And it's freaking like one o'clock right now. This is amazing. I wanted to talk about something that recently happened to me. Do not enter. All right, so I'm definitely not gonna enter from that way. Wait, do I have to go the other side again? You guys are very aware now that I recently got back from Texas. And what did I do in Texas? I went and I hung out with motor vloggers. Ooh, exit this way. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna do the exact same little maneuver I just pulled on the other side. This is awesome. I went to Texas for the motors or the motor vlogger meetup that is a yearly um, gathering of motorcycle enthusiasts that also are enthusiasts about putting helmets in their faces. You don't have to be a motor vlogger to go obviously, but it's like a culmination of lots of vloggers. We do one here in Atlanta every year, and then we do one at uh, and then there's a Texas one, then there's a California one. We got a there's a lot of motor vlogger meetups going on these days. I just got back from that and I kind of wanted to talk about this idea of, you know, meeting people that you watch online and them being like they are on their videos. Similar to you guys, I, I, I watch motor vloggers just like you do. Like when I'm bored or I have free time, I'm watching motor vlogs because I legitimately enjoy watching them. Granted, because I'm a motor vlogger, I, can't, I have a better chance of like contacting other vloggers and being able to like conversate with them and shit like that. But for the most part, I'm just like you guys, you know? I watch these people like Duo Dan, Walt Terrific, Motor Nosity, like all the, all the dudes, six foot four Honda, like the list goes on and on and on. I could literally stare at this AMG Mercedes for a while. The fact that I said what, like four or five names? There's hundreds of motor vloggers out there. And I watch them just like you do. And then obviously I have a couple that I like talk to on a daily basis. Not a daily basis, I don't talk to that many freaking people. The point I'm trying to make is I watch vlog motor vloggers just like you guys watch motor vloggers for entertainment and shit like that. There was this weird like curiosity of, I wonder if these guys are gonna be the same in person as they are on their videos you watch these people's videos you don't know them they don't know you so there's that question in the back of your head is like are they gonna act the same or are they just putting on for their videos and shit like that that's one of the very uh, interesting things about coming to these meetups because you get to wow you're a dick 
You are a dick, dude. So you always wonder, like, are they gonna be like, if you think they're cool on their videos, like, what do you, are they gonna be cool in real life? And, uh, hello Ferrari, you have an ass for me. I think the guys that I met in person for the first time at the Texas meetup was, uh, Walterific. We had talked on Moto Mumble and stuff, but, I, I mean, it doesn't even matter, man. You still haven't met the person in, it, like, it face to face and, like, hugged the dude. So you never know. So Walter was one of the first guys I've met, which doesn't really count. And then uh, I got to meet Six Foot, which is freaking awesome. What is that sound? Six Foot was the guy that I met that I, I, I that I didn't know the most. I guess you could say. Uh, I had talked to Six Foot on Skype a couple times before the meetup, and you know, obviously we make comments back and forth on each other's videos. But you should definitely buckle up, man, or woman, or whatever you are. So Six Foot was the first guy I was like. Alright, so I've never, I don't really know this guy very well, so hopefully everything ends up okay. Uh, Jake, Jake came to the Atlanta meetup, he was there. Dan I met recently at the Atlanta meetup, but I didn't get to like talk with him and hang out for very long. So Dan was another guy, and Dan actually rode with me and Heather the whole way to Texas. Eh, about 21 hour drive, which was freaking excruciating, Jesus Christ. So yeah, needless to say, me, Dan, and Heather became like besties over our 21 period relationship. I can happily say that every person, every vlogger that I've met so far, is almost identical to how they are in those in their videos. Walter, <laughs> no offense, Walter. Walter's goofy as hell and awesome, and Walter has this like innate honesty that <laughs> is just amazing. Dan, do it, Dan, and I'll, I'm gonna put links in the description so you guys can check out everybody that I'm talking about. I come to find out that Dan is very much like he is in his videos, just like a bundle, a little energy ball of positivity. I love it. Jake's absolutely retarded. I'll just say this, if you guys are on Instagram, you should do check out the hashtag NakedJakey. I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Um, I also apologize if you actually go look at it. But I legitimately did not meet a single person during that meetup that I was like, I don't like this dude. It's always awesome to have that because you, you worry, you like, you watch these guys' videos and you're like, I hope they're cool because I don't want to sit here and, and enjoy his videos, but then in real life he'd be an asshole. I know you guys have heard stories of like movie people, like movie stars where people like meet them in person, they're like, wow, they're a dick. Well, no motor vlogger that I know of yet that I've met in person is like that. Very happy to say that. I think it's safe to assume the majority of us motor vloggers are just like you, li uh, just like you see in our videos. If you like our videos, it's safe to assume you like us. Hi. Oh, that bicyclist almost fell over oh god oh that would have sucked so bad he had to like end it over the bike so anyway meetups are freaking awesome guys i've got so much content coming from the meetup it's stupid i think i've got a dual vlog with six foot with jake with motonosity motonosity and i actually switched bikes which is really cool what else do i got i have a dual vlog with dan but my audio i was looking over the footage and my audio sucks ass so I don't know if that's actually going to be created. I haven't tried to save the audio yet, but I'm definitely going to try. Me, Dan, Moto, and Walter did a freaking dual vlog, or quad vlog, where we just tore the freaking town up. I don't know if you guys know, but in Texas, I was told that they have the fastest highways, or the fastest speed limit on a highway. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that I hauled a lot of ass on those highways. It was absolutely fantastic. Some freaking need for speed bullshit is what went on. It's been tasked to me to take all four of our footages, footages, and just make one big ass awesome video. So I'm gonna do the best I can with that. It is gonna take a while though, cause I want it to be really cool. It's got a lot of awesome content. You guys are gonna like a lot, but it's gonna take some time to make sure it is shown in the best way possible. I figured you guys would be happy to know that motor vloggers are awesome, especially the ones I got to meet. And uh, a lot of content coming y'all's way really freaking soon. It is just gonna take a minute to get to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, highlights video. I tried to put little pieces of all the videos I have in that highlights video that I did recently. If you haven't checked that out, there's a link on the screen and a card in the top right, like up there. And then there'll be an annotation. And then there'll be a link in the description. 205, what? I say, what? Really?
Really? You gonna pull that game? You know I can play the exact same game. I can go around you and do that. So I'm gonna cut you off because you cut me off. Whee! Okay, problem solved. We're back to square one. I hope you guys understand that us motovloggers, I, I see this all the time and I realize that you guys watch us and stuff like that, but we're normal people. We're normal people just like you guys. We like watching YouTube videos and enjoy internet content just like you guys. Oh, don't kick the cone, don't kick the cone, don't kick the cone. I will use my superior motorcycle size and I will evade traffic. I'm feeling like the title of this video should be Motor Vloggers Are Human Too. I think that'd be a cool title. When moto vloggers meet, it's it's like we're automatically friends because you're already talking to somebody that likes motorcycles and likes filming their dumb ass do stuff on motorcycles. So you've already got like most of the ticks checked for friendship, which is awesome. So you can just like skip all the bullshit and just go straight into it and be like, what up pimpin'? You know guys, I'm sitting here talking about like motor vloggers are people too and and uh, they're just like you, they like watching videos and, and all that kind of stuff. They're, and they're just like they are in the videos, at least some of them. But then I, I just realized like about a month ago, I had a very similar situation where for the very first time I was emailing a bigger YouTuber that I actually watched and they were actually emailing and communicating with me and that was really freaking cool to me and I remember how I felt. So I then stopped at a yellow light because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'll talk about it in another video, but I do know how it feels to meet and talk with somebody that you kind of, I guess admire would be the word you use. I don't know. Something like that. They get a big YouTube channel. You watch their content. You feel like you know them. Oh, hello, Clutch. Sorry. Long story long, motor vloggers are people too. They enjoy, they enjoy content on YouTube just like other people. All you motor vloggers that I met, thank you so much for coming to the Texas meetup. It was amazing meeting you. I cannot wait for the Atlanta meetup. I hope some of you guys are able to make it out to the Atlanta meetup. I don't have any information of that. I will let you know when I do know. I appreciate you guys watching the videos and hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. You make my life freaking cool. I'm gonna head out of here and go enjoy the rest of my freaking day because I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. go there and I want to take a picture. Brum, 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 brum. Alright, we're going to take a little, little curb. A little curby curb. Brum, brum.